What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more diecast and today we have the newest release of Hot Wheels Fast and the Furious Spy Racer series. So this series has been incredibly hard to find for me in stores. I've ended up getting the last three to four releases off eBay because our local stores legitimately have the first and second wave from 2020 still. So I know there was no chance in me finding them. So I went to eBay, overpaid for them of course. Um, but I finally have them. So uh, this newest wave, this is technically the third wave of 2022 in the, I believe, sixth overall, sixth or seventh overall release. So there are all seven cars you can see um, in the release. Now, I, I bought um, six of them, but I did not buy the Rally Baja Crawler because that was not a new casting. And I really wanted for to wait for prices to slow down a little because this car retails for a dollar 29 and i had to pay 11.99 just for this one so the prices right now on this set are outrageous because very few stores have them i don't even know how the seller got them um which is why i had to overpay for the whole set but i'm really pumped to open these i've collected all of them and you've seen my other videos on the transporters and all the other sets um and i'm going to do a giant like, I don't know, just overall video showing all the different versions of the Rally Baja Crawler, the Hyperfin, the Asan Auto, the Ion Motor, Motors Thresher, all of them um, here pretty soon. So this set is really good. There are five brand new castings. So all these right here are new castings. They have never been released before. And the two um, re like reoccurring castings are the Dune Buggy, but this is a new color, so I bought it. And then the Rally Baja Crawler, which is the off-road version, um, which I've showed in a video before, and I'll put the link in the description so you can see that. So um, these cars represent the different versions of the main character's cars from season... I believe, what was it, season five, the South Pacific, where they were largely underwater. So these are like the underwater ones. So uh, two releases ago, we got the off-road, like the Sahara ones, um, which were really cool. But these are awesome too. So these are all basically like the water-themed releases. So I'm really excited to open them because they do have a couple bad guy cars that are really looking cool, um, brand new castings. And uh, again, all of these have moving parts except for this little beast right here, the Pulse Type V. So um, I haven't caught up in the show, but I know this is like an anonymous car or autonomous, so it doesn't have a driver. It's almost like a drone vehicle. This car does not have moving parts, but I'll show you what it has um, when we open it. So let's go ahead and bust some of these open. Um, I'm gonna start with the reoccurring one first. The pink one, the dune buggy. So this is one of the, I can't remember what the bad guys were named or like the people they teamed up with in the series. Um, but I have the blue version, which I really, really like this car because it has um, like working suspension. So the suspension is really squishy on it, moves up and down. It has a lot of play value. Um, this is really cool because like I said, this is the second one. We've never seen this paint job before. Um, it's got the little scorpion, it's got a little 45 on it. Just a really good looking casting. Again, second time overall, or no, this is the third time overall that the Doom Buggy has been released. We've got it two times in blue, and this is the first time in pink. So this is really cool to have in pink. I'm looking forward to putting it with the other uh, Doom Buggies and, and the rest of my Spy Racer set. So very cool. This is a cool reoccurring one. So the next one. Oh man, I don't even know which one I want to open. Let's go with the Asanta Hato. So this is the third or fourth version of this car. So we've gotten the regular white one from like the first, second season, the black one from the second or third season, the off-road one, and this one. So I believe that's four, um, but this one's cool. So the card art reflects like the, it almost looks like the James Bond Lotus that goes underwater. Really good card art. And again, this one has the same moving part as the rest. It has like the little side blasters that come out. Um, but this is cool. I love that they keep putting new castings into this set. Like they put a lot of money into the castings for Spy Racer. So um, Hot Wheels, like just for their main line, they only develop, you know, I don't know. 30 new castings a year. I don't even know if it's that, but they've released every single one of these has been new over the past two years. So this is really cool that they're putting a lot of money and effort into this line. And I hope to see it continue because it's a cool cartoon. So um, this looks awesome. So they did a really good job. It looks just like the show. Like I said, I haven't caught up, but I've seen like the previews or the trailers and it like, this is what it looked like. So it still retains like the fog lights in front, it's got the blacked out windows because there are no interiors in these cars because of the moving parts. Um, so as you can see the bottom of it, 
it actually still has wheels very tiny wheels that are behind this like they kind of hide it pretty well um, but overall the car remains the same except for like if you hold it like that you can't really tell but then when you go like that you can obviously tell that there's no wheels so this actually has a little bit different bottom it's a lot smoother oh I like that and the moving part is a lot smoother make sure I can get that oh come on come on there there it goes. So this moving part is a lot smoother than the old one. Um, it actually doesn't have the same parts, and I'm assuming it's hard because I haven't seen it, but I believe the, the weapon switched for underwater. So I believe that reflects the changes of the smoother bottom piece, but I don't know. But man, it is a lot easier to move the... If you bought the any of the Hasanta Autos that have been before this one, they're really hard to push. Um, and they get stuck really easy but this the operation on this is very smooth so that's awesome i really like this casting so you can play with it in the water and like on the table like it rolls still pretty well cool oh let's put these up here okay okay so let's do the um this one this is i hope i say this right mastari rock ripper and i believe that guy's name is oh man moray moray or moray um I can't remember, I was reading about him um, and about this car, but this one's cool because this is one we haven't seen before. This is a brand new casting, and according to the car, the body moves up and down, and I believe that reflects straight up on what it did in the cartoon. So, let's go ahead and bust this one open. I'm really excited about this. Ooh, these are opening all really good, too. So, this is like a off-road Baja-style vehicle. It looks very intimidating. It's got a gloss a semi-gloss black stripe down it. It's got the five-spoke green, uh, almost like green chrome wheels. It looks very intimidating. Like that almost looks like a uh, Huracan uh, Lamborghini taillights, like that whole bumper right there. Um, the body is metal, the chassis is plastic. So let's go ahead and see how this works. It says the body pulls up somehow. Let's see. Where is it suspension? Is it suspension? Maybe it's a suspension. Let's see. Let's take a closer look at the card to see. So the card shows that it goes up, but oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So then this does look like it. So it might be just be suspension. Let's see. I don't want to break it. I don't think it really moves anywhere. So that must be it. It must be just a suspension, which um, might sound lame, but the suspension on these is awesome. Like the, the bounce on these are incredible. They're so much fun to play with. I think that's it, right? Uh, oh, 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 yeah. I don't think those move. Those axles are in place. So there's what the chassis looks like. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it is Murray's car. Nice. So it must just be suspension. I thought it, the body lifted up, but I don't think it does. I mean, it's riveted in place, so there's no way it's moving. It's got to be the suspension which works really well. This is basically the same as the Doom Buggy suspension, and these are so much fun to play with. Like, the squish in them, the bounce, is excellent. So, I'm not too bummed about that. Even though I thought it was different, it's still a good takeaway because that working suspension is awesome. Whoop! Let's add it up there to the pile. So, let's go ahead and do the Hyperfin. So, this is the, what, third version of this car we've gotten, and it's actually coming out in a mainline in, like, a dark, green I believe this year too so this is a whole like hovercraft underwater body um, it's got a lot of different like chassis pieces and as you can see it actually still retains the normal hyperfin um, like the little wings that pull out so that's cool let's check this sucker out nice I really like this color the yellow looks really good on the car um, black windows this so this is metal this is a whole new chassis and this is metal. So this this almost whole thing is metal, like metal body, metal chassis, which is cool. That's usually only released, um, like premiums only get that treatment. So this is cool, like the little flip out flappers, like the wheels um, that I assume are turbines, like the whole chassis on this is almost looks like a shoe. Uh, but there you can see, what does it say on the bottom? Does it say anything? Yeah, it just says hyperfin. So um, again, new chassis, there's the back of it, like the little um, those are the rear wheels folded back. They usually would go like this um, As like I'm sure they're like how it propels underwater or over water. This is awesome though So then we also have let's see. Let's see if we can pull these suckers out 
So there are still the traditional um, hyperfin flaps that have been on every one of these moving castings. It's cool because not only do they make a new chassis, and I really interior everything, probably this is just the same, um, but it retained the moving parts for the other model. So that is so cool. And it does have little teeny tiny tires. So this actually rolls too. It, I mean, it rolls pretty well too. I know it's got a little hard to see, but man, that's cool. Okay. So let's do, we'll, we'll wait till this one, the most expensive one for last. So the next one is the Pulse Type V. So this is that like autonomous car I was telling you about. And as you can see, it doesn't really show any moving parts, but it still has the car over here. That's because the whole chassis inside here, um, all that like, I know it might be hard to see, but let's go ahead and bust it open because all the interior pieces glow. So it's actually made with glow in the dark plastic so that when you, um, put the car in light there you can see it a little better so like those white pieces in there um, the white in there the white underneath here all that glows in the dark so um, I'll have to like once we finish looking at it here I'll put it in the light and show it to you so this has big aero disc wheels on it a really good looking like I would almost call that shark gray like it's like a grayish blue it definitely looks like an animal um, there's not much to it but I really like the body Ooh, that really looks sharkish right there or even Piranha. It's almost like a speed racer car too. Like just an excellent like autonomous stealth looking vehicle. So there's the bottom of it. It says Pulse Type V right there. It's got the Hot Wheels logo, all the jargon over here. Um, overall, this is a good model. I bet this thing goes so fast on the track because the heavy, like the weight is all centered over the wheels really well. Um, let's see, let's roll it. Oh yeah, I bet that thing would fly on the track. That is rad. So afterwards, um, after we open all of them, I'll do the glow in the dark so we can see how this looks. Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's cool. Nice, I like that one. It would be cool to have a whole fleet of these and do some like glow racing with them. Okay. All right, so the last one, the, I'm gonna probably butcher this because it's in Spanish, I don't speak Spanish. Fogo de Seda, Seda? And I believe that means fire silk is what I what it said when I looked it up. Um, again, I haven't seen this. I know this is, um, what, oh, I totally forget her name. Does it say it on the bottom? Oh, it doesn't. I can't remember what her name is right now. Raf Raffaella? Raffaella? Um, but this car is awesome. It's like a 24 Hours of Le Mans, like prototype style car. It looks fast. It almost looks like the, what is it, Soul Air from like, the 1990s or late 1980s the Hot Wheels uh fantasy casting that was like a 24-hour race car back in the day almost like the Sauber Mercedes or the Porsche 917 um really good looking car so it's in a it has like butterflies or like I don't know like flowers on it and it says Exodus on the side and its moving part is the wing goes up and down which is kind of cool very race car stuff so let's go ahead and bust this one open Man, they butchered, is that, I can't tell if they butchered the, they definitely butchered the graphics on this side. Like that's not very good and it marked off the word Exodus, but here it's really not any better. Um, I believe though it does kind of look like that, like because of these graphics, it actually does have a little bit of overlay over the words, but I think some of that is kind of messed up which is a bummer because i paid like 12 dollars for this stupid thing um but the casting is awesome again this is probably one that's really nice on the track because of the weight but there's the graphics on the front the orange color is really good though 10 spoke chrome wheels okay so let's try this oh nice okay let's see how far. so it actually has little notches there that wing really goes high there are little plastic notches there you can kind of see it right there um, in the back that actually make it stand up so it's not like it's not just like all floppy nobody wants a floppy wing come on there it goes yeah so you can put some weight on it and there it goes it clicks down and then if you want you can click it back up it's kind of cool it's not the I mean you know it's not the greatest but it's cool that they add the moving parts feature into these cars just because I think they add a little extra especially for the price I mean even like a Walmart or Target exclusive like the flying colors or like the muscle car sets we never get moving parts so that's so cool we get exclusive castings to the show and moving parts mixed in with it so not too bad 
other than the paint kind of mixed up a little bit maybe um i'm pretty over i mean overall happy with all of these i hope everyone who's watching these are able to find these in stores because they're so cool uh, especially if you're a spy racers or you have a kid or a little guy at home or something a little girl that likes the spy racers um because it's so cool to have cars that are on tv like that was me growing up we had the ecto the general lee the batmobiles starsky and hutch 18 van all this stuff that was in those cartoons we wanted to play with them in hot wheels so it's so cool to see cars on the screen coming to life that little kids can like or collectors like myself get their hands on and actually enjoy firsthand so all right well that was the newest hot wheels fastening for your spy racer series exclusive moving parts new castings for 2021 technically um so if you're looking for these I guess check your local store or eBay or I know another good place is Entertainment Earth. Sometimes those have them. Sometimes places like One Stop Diecast has them. Uh, it's just kind of a crapshoot really. Wherever they pop up is where you got to snatch them. So I'm going to try to do a write up on these. So be looking for that on the Lamely group sometime soon. And then follow me on what Instagram, TikTok, Lamely group, Drive Tribe, RIP to Drive Tribe. They announced the Top Gear guys announced they were shutting that down. Um, pretty soon. So unfortunately, um, we kind of got to stick to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all those good things until we can find another good home for uh, the live and let die cast. So until then, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll have more die cast soon. Thanks guys.